Check out the dumping of snow. This is a happy boy. And I'm a happy girl. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for clicking on this video and uh, welcome to Winter Wonderland. I did not know we were supposed to get this much snow. This is awesome. It's so gorgeous in here. But I've only got a couple of hours to be out here and enjoy this today, so I um, thought I'd take advantage of it and bring you guys along with me. The plan is to find a spot to uh, get a little fire going. I got a new saw I want to try out beast of a saw and uh, it's like a really nice temperature I think it's like minus three Celsius so I'll put the I'll put whatever that is in uh, Fahrenheit on the screen um, I did bring a tarp too because I knew it was gonna be breezy so if the wind knocks a bunch of snow down I want to have somewhere to put my gear and stuff so we'll see I might set it up I might not um, but yeah it's a beautiful day I've been hiking around for like ever. There is far too much underbrush everywhere in this area. Um, so it's been hard to just find a little clearing, but I think I found a little spot here. This works pretty good. So yeah, I think this is it. Definitely set up a tarp because it's still snowing quite a bit. Um, so I can park my stuff. Although now that I say that, I don't really see a great tree on this side for my tarp. Got one there. I guess that one, but that's pretty far. Might do. Anyways, we'll see how it goes. Sometimes you don't get the perfect situation, so we'll park it here for now. Okay. Whew, feel a little sweaty, which is not good. Got a new saw from Agawa. Agawa Gear is now what they call them. Used to be Agawa Canyon. Uh, you guys have seen the other saw I have like this. It's the Boreal 21, but this one's the Boreal 24. Awesome for winter camping because that extra little bit of blade length is like pretty crucial. So I'm excited to use it. Let's go find some firewood. I also uh, really want to thank a very generous su subscriber of mine who makes these gloves uh, sent me a pair. Um, they're buffalo leather with a, with a lining inside. Super nice gloves. Really nice to have this time of year and uh, to use for the fire and stuff. Yeah, I'm really excited. I really like them. So thank you very much. You know who you are. Really appreciate it. Rotten. Rotten. Everything's rotten. Put 
That's solid. All right. That's more than enough for what I need today. Solid hardwood. Whew, it's a lot of work to find these gems, but when you do, it's worth it. Really nice to have the extra couple uh, inches on the saw. A little bit rotten up in there, but... I don't know, she might do the trick. Solid. Oh. oh man. Got a new little axe. A hack hatchet actually. A little husk barn camp hatchet. Oh my gosh. This this thing's gonna be fun to split. Awesome. There we go. All right, then we'll split this down further. Get some good small stuff we can start a fire with. Nice, that is splitting beautifully. Okay, got a great start on firewood. Uh, I'm gonna go find some birch bark now. So we can start this bad boy. Might split up some of the crappy stuff on this. Just lay down for my fire. Go. Nice 
a base. Not bad. Okay, fire seal. Probably split up some of these just a little bit smaller. Instead of splitting these smaller, I'll just make a few feather sticks. That sounds wet. Got my birch bark in my pocket. Tried to dry it out a little bit. It's a little bit damp. I think it should still do the trick. But got my brace here. Grace, get out of here. Goofball. Get out of here. It's a little bit damp, so this might be interesting. Just put it out. I think I need more feather sticks. All right, let's try this again. All right, that's much better. Much, much better. Oh, that feels good. I'm gonna need more wood though. Really soon.
Ah, a little rotten in there, but that's okay. It'll burn. It will burn. I uh, didn't think, you guys always know me with my uh, forest axe. This is my first time really using a little hatchet like this. I didn't think I would like it, but I do. It's uh, pretty good for something this small. So I brought a beer <laughs> and I brought a steak. So uh, I have about I have about an hour left I can be out here. So I'm gonna start that steak pretty soon. Enjoy a beer by the fire. And, uh, and then I'll have to pack up and get out here, which kind of sucks, but. It is what it is, and I'm glad I got even a couple hours to come out and enjoy this. It's gorgeous. Okay. Oh, my butt's cold. <laughs> my butt is really, really wet. Really wet. These pants need to be uh, treated again with wax. Okay. So, let's see what we got in here. So like I said, I brought a beer. Just a Canadian, nothing fancy. That's all I need. I should really have been using my sit pad this entire time so my butt wouldn't be so wet. Or my knees. So we'll start using that, I guess. And, what else we got? Uh-oh, my steak is leaking. That's not good. That's a big steak. <laughs> I'm only gonna season half of it um, so I can give the other half to Grizz. gloves need to stretch out just a little bit, but uh, they're already kind of forming to my hands, which is really nice. Okay, so we want some of this stuff to the side. Good enough for me. Here we go. That's a big steak. <laughs> That's a big steak. Steak's already ready to be turned around, I think.
Here we go. Look at this majestic dog. Are you thirsty? Are you thirsty boy? You want to have some water? Do you have your, with your steak? Yeah. Okay. Good boy. Oh, a little smoky over here. Go! There we go. I'll make a nice plate. Alright, we have a place for our steak, yay! Oh man, that looks good. Not too shabby. Not too shabby at all. I'm gonna already start cutting up Grizz's pieces. Oh, it's perfect. It's so perfect. And uh, put them in his bowl here. I don't like feeding him as I'm eating because I hate a dog that begs and uh, that's probably the best way to teach him to beg. I've done it before, don't get me wrong and whatever, I'm not perfect but I don't know, I like to try to not do that if I can avoid it. That's a pretty lucky dog right there. <laughs> I like it rare so I don't mind this at all. I really gotta sharpen this knife though. Whew. Oh my goodness. That's really good. Oh, my beer. And Grizz's food. It's Grizz's food. It's going right here. Don't you touch it yet. Oh. The gourmet lunch if I ever saw one. Let's get this fire closer. Oh yeah. Really love these gloves. They're awesome. Alright. Bon appetit. Grizz is waiting patiently. Okay. Oh my goodness, he's not even chewing it, he's just inhaling it. It's beer time! Oh, that's good. This looks amazing. Oh, that's so good. Okay, I'm gonna finish eating this and then I'll get back with you. Like I was saying earlier, pretty decent little hatchet. Um, my only complaint, and I don't really know if there's anything I can do about it, but the, uh, the head is not aligned perfectly. Uh, it wasn't, it wasn't actually, to be honest, it wasn't really made well, which I'm really surprised that Husqvarna, uh, made something this bad. But the, the head is not forged, like, straight, first of all, and second of all, it's not 
it's not perfectly in line with the uh, with the handle. It kind of goes veers off to the side a bit when you're looking at it straight on. But overall, it does the trick. I'm uh, I still like it. I still use it. I don't I don't feel like going through the hassle of returning it or anything. The sky's brightening up a bit. Um, anyways, I don't know. I don't know what I should do. Maybe I should try and uh, contact Husqvarna and see if there's something they can do about it. Send me another one that isn't all warped, but I don't know. Anyways, does the trick. Grizzly bear, come here. Come here. It was nice to get back out. I haven't done a good little day trip like this in, uh, man, a couple months now. So, it's just really nice to get out. Obviously, there's a lot of, uh, people noticing a little bit of changes on my channel. Oh, man, that was a bad idea. I don't know why I did that. Um, uh, you're not going to be seeing Ryan in my videos anymore. Uh, I, I'm not going to get into it. It's a long story and I know there's going to be a lot of judgment no matter what I say or do or if I don't mention anything, like there's always, no one's ever just happy with, with anything, so. Uh, I'm out. I, I make these videos so that you guys can escape to the woods with me and go on trips and uh, you know when whenever you otherwise can't and there's really no point. Whew. I would really like to keep my personal life uh, personal because just because I put myself out there and make these videos doesn't mean that uh, doesn't mean I want to get personal and it doesn't mean that you know, I want you guys to know every detail of my life. That's just not the case. Uh, I feel like that shouldn't be expected. Um, anyways, yeah. It is what it is, guys. Things are moving on. Yeah, we're just going to carry on. Keep making videos. Uh, if you guys want to stick along with me, great. I just did my giveaway. I hope you guys enjoyed that. It was an epic giveaway, and I also have another giveaway coming up for the boots that I'm wearing right now. I would love for this smoke to not be in my face. <laughs> Why are you doing this? <laughs> Hope you guys are all well. Hope you're all safe. COVID is going crazy right now, so um, things are getting wild on that front. Which is crazy. It's funny, when it first started, everyone was panicking, and now we're like three times worse, at least here in Ontario, we're like three times worse than when it first started. And uh, people aren't panicking anymore. It's really strange. Strange times we live in right now. Very strange. I mentioned I like this little hatchet, even though it's all warped and weird. Come here, come cuddle, come cuddle. <laughs> oh, come cuddle. There, good boy. Yes, you're a good boy. All right, I'm gonna start packing up my stuff. Actually, I'll start with this saw. So this saw, sent to me by Agawa Gear. I am uh, transparent. Yes, they sent it to me. They just came out with this this model, which is the 24 inch, and they came out with a smaller model, the 15 inch, which is really cool. Um, so they sent those to me eh, to try out. The 24 inch is really, really nice to have that extra little, uh, to have the extra couple of inches, so you can get like a good. Got a good groove in while you're sawing. This uh, this piece of wood was super thick, so it was a good. It's super dense, rather. 
So yeah, beast of a saw. I like it. And they got in these new uh, new sheets too. Well made. Yeah, it's good stuff. Really impressed with them. Um, a lot of the companies nowadays, uh, a lot of people complain like, oh, it's so expensive and how do you, you know, how do you afford expensive gear? And I get it. When you're first starting out in this stuff or if you don't have a lot of money, it is hard to justify getting, uh, you know, all the right gear. But at the end of the day, you buy something cheap, it lasts you maybe a season whatever it is and then you have to buy it again because it either breaks or the you know it's bad quality and and wears out there's just no point in constantly buying stuff like get something that's gonna last you a lifetime and then you'll never have to spend money on it again anyways that's my view on the matter Getting all nice and packed up. Well guys, camp's all packed up, fire's out, everything looks like a bear, well, wasn't here other than the footprints. It's been a really nice day out in the woods, I thank you guys very much for watching, I appreciate all your support. Um, thanks for sticking with me up till this point, I hope you guys stick with me um, into the future as well. I'm really excited about the channel and just continuing continuing to make videos and make content and go on trips and and uh, just share it with you guys so oh, it's been a beautiful day in the woods thanks again for watching and uh, I'll see you guys on the next video bye